Hi everyone, Mr. Morgan Lewis here at the school. In this video, we're gonna do a quick rundown of a punching combination that is currently in the syllabus, and uh, we're gonna talk a bit about generating speed as well. So, I'm gonna use this Wave Master for this. Um, I advise, if you have access to a Wave Master, then, then do so, but if not, then I'm sure a part on the holding pads for you will work just as well. But um, the combination we're gonna run through is jab, cross, jab, cross, hook, hook, uppercut, uppercut. So we're gonna talk about the technique and how to develop speed behind it, but I'm gonna talk about speed in general with this, okay? So all the time you're working against resistance, okay? Your muscles are getting feedback from what you're hitting. So it's promoting mus muscular endurance and, you know, at the same, and building up strength at the same time. If you practice hitting thin air, is not, there's not a lot for you to visualize or see or anything for your muscles to register. So it's working against the target is really, really important. So when we do this, this combination, it, it likewise with any combination, it's really important that you try to keep your guard up between all of your movements, okay? So from here, we start off with a jab and a cross. So on this first jab, I'm gonna make sure I snatch this hand, this hand here, back to my guard as I throw the jab. Okay, now as I'm doing it, you can see I've got my chin tucked in behind my shoulder. I've got my other hand close, eyes forward. Okay, and you can't see, but from here, what I am doing is putting a little bit of hip twist into it as well by just turning the foot ever so slightly. On these straight punches, it's not necessary to turn your feet as, as such. It's more about your hips, but you will turn your foot obviously slightly. So from here, it's jab like this. And then as soon as this starts to come back, this one should be traveling. So what we don't want is this, then this, okay? We wanna try and change these over really fast. Yeah, okay. So there's the cross, then we do another jab. Again, watch how I'm tucking this back in each time. Then cross, one. Now on the hook, you may need to get a bit closer for this. All right, so to do that, we're gonna slip forward, we're gonna push off our back foot and slip us closer. Okay, now from here, when we do the hook, remember not to place emphasis on swinging your arm back here and then doing this, because you can easily tear a muscle in your shoulder, okay? We don't need to do a big wind up like that. If anything, speed is important in the, in the sense that your target is less likely to see it coming if it's done uh, faster and therefore it can be more, more devastating. So from here, when we do this hook, all we're gonna do is just raise our elbow. We're gonna turn our hand. So from my glove, the thumb piece is gonna go down like so. Okay, I'm gonna turn it there. I'm gonna pivot my hip and then turn my foot into it. Now. It doesn't possibly seem like from where you're standing um, the, that it's got a lot of power to it. But the thing is, if I go like this, whilst that might be strong, that's actually irritating for me. I'd rather the technique work. So it's here and here, okay? And then with practice, you will make it strong. Then we do another hook. So we've gone one, back to guard. So we don't want to let this drop now, okay? Well, we don't want this to then drop here and then do this. It's got to come from the guard. So we go one, back in, two, back in. And then of course on the uppercuts, we want to drop our knees down a little bit. We want to drive and push up and go into the target. Here and back. So on this uppercut, we're not necessarily going low section, although we could do. We're going into the into the temple height as such, okay? But uh, it's pulling straight back to guard in between. And here, and then back. Okay, so when you practice this, you want to practice being as loose as possible and then still good, good breathing you want to explode into these punches really, really good. But first of all, get the technique. Technique will always prevail over everything else. If you don't have the technique, you can go as fast and as powerful as you want, but if it doesn't work, it's because your technique's not good, all right? So from here, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then you improve the speed. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. But again, paying attention to good guard, good footwork, eyes forward, good technique in general, okay? so. Practice that combination, okay? When you're working on pads, okay, if a partner's holding pads for you, then hold them the same way I'm holding my gloves, okay? You take a stance, you put one forward, one back, and then it'll be jab, cross, jab, cross, hook, hook, uppercut, uppercut. When you're holding the focus pads for hooks, don't let them go out hip like this. They should be in the center, elbow and hand in line. So that way you don't run the risk of injuring each other. Okay, so it's jab, cross, jab, cross, hook, hook, uppercut, and uppercut. Okay, give that a go. Let us know how you get on, like and share the video, and uh, leave a comment. And uh, as always, happy training.